Hello, everybody. It's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today, finally, I've got a Goodwill Blue Box jewelry unboxing for y'all uh, and for me because I'm excited about it. So I haven't done one of these in a little while and I might be a little rusty. So bear with me if we have any hiccups along the way. I am going live or I am live. Uh, so if you're watching now, you can say hey in the chat and we can say hey to each other. If you're watching later, warning you in advance, I will be talking to people in the chat throughout the video and hopefully soon I'll be able to record a camera down where I can um, just focus on the jewelry because I know some people like just that. But today I will be doing a camera up, camera down style where I've got my camera down here where we can look at the items in the box here and I'll also be able to hold them up uh, in front of the camera up here so we can look at them closer in that way. So I'm very excited. Um, hi in the chat. Hello, um, Dawn. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, Ozark Mountain. Sandy, thank you. Hello, Sonia. Um, <clears throat> my voice is still weird because allergies. It's been like two weeks now. And so it's better than it was because for like a week, I sounded like a man. Um, so to, so much to the point that at Starbucks, they labeled my cup Marvin <laughs> so instead of Margaret. Uh, yeah. Anyway, good morning, Susan. And good morning, Joanne. I'm so happy to see you. Yay. Hello, everybody. Hi, Barbara. All right. So I do, again, once I said, I got the Goodwill Blue Box. If you guys are interested in these, I haven't ordered one in a while. I have such a backlog. But if they still do, go live Friday, 5 Central. I don't know what the price is anymore because, like I said, I I have a backlog and I haven't ordered them in a while. So maybe in the chat, if you can say if you've gotten one lately, they go really quick. I'm guessing they still go really quick. Um, and I'm again, I may cough throughout, so I may try to. I'm going to try to mute myself if I have to cough. It's that drainage. It's awful. Oh, thanks so much, Kim. Yeah, I'm letting it grow out. I need to deal with some roots, but that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> morning, Robin. It's probably not morning where you are, but it is for me. Good morning again. Yeah, Marvin, I know. <laughs> morning, morning, Fox and Cat and Ellen and, oh, they're $34.99 now. Okay. What were they bore before? They, they keep going up, right? So that's just that. Um, Again, morning, morning, morning. Okay. Let's dive into the box. How about that? Let's see, how do I want to do this? Oh, let's do that. That's a new option. All right, so I'm going to cut this one open. I have zero idea what's in there. What do I, What am I hoping for? Always hoping for gold, silver, turquoise, things that are sellable, right? Um, oops, there goes that. I'm going to have hiccups. I already know it. That's just the way it is because it's been a little bit. Ah. Oh my gosh, Robin, 4.17 a.m. in New Zealand. Whoa, you're up early or or you stayed up all night. Either way, respect. Okay, let's do first impressions, shall we? Ooh, first impressions. Eh, meh. Okay, I'm just going to kind of... So usually it's about five pounds, and I just realized I usually have a box. That's one thing I miss. I was like, I'm gonna be so on top of it. Oh, I see a box right there I can grab, maybe. Hang on, because I need a box to throw things in that are like, I'm gonna put that in a lot. Hang on, hang on. Getting a box, got one now, okay. <coughs> Pardon. Wow, look at my camera work, fantastic, fantastic. There we go. Okay, up all night, woohoo. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so yeah, off the top of my box, uh, first impressions are like not awesome, but that's okay, right? Because it only takes one piece to turn the whole box around and make it um, make it good. Did I title this something else? Goodwill Blue Box? I think I did. Anyway, um, you're wondering when Blue Box is assembled, why they would why the valuable stuff would not be removed. I think because not everybody knows everything. So they may not know what they've got or it's just so overwhelming. Maybe they have to have so much stuff that they just, I don't know. I, yeah, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. I'm not complaining though. 
not complaining. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, did I say the wrong thing? You know, sometimes I say the wrong thing. Um, but I think, yeah. Okay. Here we go. So what I'm going to do, how do I normally do this? I'm going to pull the box to the side and then we'll just have the whiteboard underneath and I'll put stuff there. I feel like I'm having to re-remember how I used to do this. How do I do this? You know, I would have my, everything set up already. There we go. How is that? That's good. Okay, let me come down here. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of pull stuff over and we'll look at it. So yeah, just, you know, this is just a little bangle. You can see, I feel like this thing has a light. Doesn't it have a light? And I'm just forgetting that it has a light. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> or maybe I had a light separate for it. Give me one second. I'm gonna zoom in also. There we go. Y'all help me remember. Did this thing used to have a light and I'm just dreaming? So yeah, you can see it's got like this green patina in there. So that's just going to go into a lot. Um, I get that question a lot too about like, well, what, what do you put in lots? Usually it's stuff, it could be sellable stuff <clears throat> um, or just things I don't want to sell. It could be broken, it could be whatever. Okay, so next. Oh, thank you so much, Robin. <laughs> Tingles. All right, so next up is this necklace. It's got these like black plastic beads and some, I guess they're kind of like gunmetal colored beads. And then look, it's already got like a stretchy thing. Is that a stretchy piece? No, no, that's just hooked onto it. So like this could be a sellable piece, you know, no maker's mark on it, on the back, but you know, likely I'm probably not gonna sell it. So I just put that into a lot. Then this is one of those rubbery ones. What's the deal with that? Do y'all know? It's like got this rubbery finish and then, the, you know, just kind of snap. Is this, is this a thing? Is this something I'm missing? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Um, hang on. Let me pop you up. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that rubbery. I mean, some people are weird about textures. And that, I feel like that would just get caught. Like, I feel like my hair would get caught on it and it would just pull my hair. I don't know. This bracelet, the elastic is sprung and the, I mean, it's just a mess. The fin, the gold, the silver tone finish is rubbing off. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess somebody could work that out, work their magic with it. <clears throat> there it goes. Here we go. Here we go. All right. These are cute. These are some Monet earrings. These are some I might sell. Those are sweet. They've got these nice little pastel colors. And then, um, yeah, those are nice. I like long dangly earrings like that, personally. I don't think I'd wear these, but I don't know, they might be nice. All right, I'm setting these to the side. I don't know, I'm trying to think like what I would sell those for. So they're teardrop, they've kind of got this like resin. Um, I'd have to look, cause some, you know, some people really like Monet, the brand, but I'm guessing, you know, at least like 15 bucks. Generally, I don't, I won't list, jewelry and stuff like that unless it's around that price depending I eat my words frequently but okay I could have the camera split look at this chain so here we've got it's really long you could double it up and oh Shandy had me I, I missed it did it jump hang on Shandy has the answer. There's some kind of sustainable maid in New York City. Is she here? Did I miss her? I don't see her. Maybe maybe it's from some other time. Okay. Um, my stream isn't good. Can y'all see me okay? Is the Wi-Fi bad? Or is it just... Hang on. My stream isn't good. Let me know if the stream isn't, isn't getting... Isn't better. Okay. So, yeah. This one's textured. As you can see, some of the links are textured and then some are just like shiny so that's pretty cool i mean it's very heavy i don't even want to put it on uh yeah so this is one i might sell i'd have to get the little kinks like that's pretty easy there's little kinks that just need to be twisted out oh that's gonna make a loud noise i'm afraid you know little kinks like that that just need to be twisted out and fixed um but yeah i think this could probably sell somebody might like that i don't wear big jewelry like that so it's, you know, 
As a reseller, that's not a good strategy to have. Like, well, I wouldn't wear it. You know, you just have to be ready to sell anything. I really feel like I used to have a lot. Maybe I put my ring light on top of this. Okay, we've got tangles. I'm going to try to very quickly. This is the only thing when I do the camera down with um, with pre-recorded, I can, you know, speed speed up the tank detangling part, which is always fun. Oh, those are fun earrings. Look. XO. I hope the mate's in there. That's super cute. Oh, isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. Uh, and then this is the point where I have to decide, like, is it worth me detangling all of this stuff? I see another earring. There's another earring. All right, let me pull it up so you can see up here. Nope, wrong one, Margaret. There we go. Um, yeah, so like all of this, I will probably just not even detangle it. I'll put it into a lot. I mean, yeah, I think they're probably sellable. You know, they have these stationed beads, kind of pearly. Would you sell it? I'll probably just put it into a lot, though. All of that. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, on her YouTube channel. Okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, where do I sell broken or craft? I, usually, I just sell them through the channel. Like, I have bags made up, and then um, I just sell them to viewers if they want them or in my group. I was thinking about doing another jewelry sale video. I haven't done one in a long time. Um, and I can't remember like how, was it an auction? That was, I think I did it as an auction. Um, but yeah, I'll have to see about if I want to do that again. Cause sometimes I would just sell them that way as well. I don't know if I did. I can't remember. I think I've done both, which is flat prices and auctions, but it's been so long. Um, yeah. So I mean, if you're interested, I definitely have a ton that I can. Yeah. Anyway. Hello. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Deborah. Okay. So again, the stuff here that's um, left over, this stuff is just going to go to a lot too. That's, you can see the, the finish is rubbing off of that piece right there. And then these are just like plasticky fake pearls. These earrings, this earring I'll, I'll hold on to and see the mates in there. And I actually have a separate tub that I keep all the solo earrings in because when I order the blue boxes frequently I order more than one at a time so and this has happened I don't know how many times like the, I'll find one in one box and then in one of the next boxes that I uh, unbox the mate will be in that box so that's happened a few times so I like just keeping them to the side for a little while I mean after a while there she blows um after a while you know, then I do like a solo earring lot. Oh gosh, are we ready for some detangling action? Hopefully it won't be too bad. Here we go. Go, I'm going in. I'm going in. All right, let's detangle these and then we'll talk about the stuff. Ooh, that, that looks like a nice bracelet. And those look cool too. All right, a little detangling. So how's it been going? It's been um, really busy over here. I know you, you may or may not have noticed that I have been kind of MIA. I'm trying to get my groove back, but, um, yeah, it's just been a lot like with homeschooling and I've been trying to get my, myself in better health and better, you know, take better care of myself kind of deal. And so that's, it's just been a lot to juggle, right? Oh, this is why I'm like, I need to do, you know, like have it work and speed up. Because these, like, these kind of glass pendants, I keep those to the side as well. And then um, make a lot with those because some people just want those. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just kind of look at things as they're tangled up because I'm going to go crazy here. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, geez. So, yeah, I'll kind of pull things through the, the tangle and I'll, and I'll finish detangling it later. So this will go to a lot where I'll put, like, the dichroic glass and little glass art pieces to sell as a lot. Then, um, oh brother, look at this. There's this that's got these kind of like rose. What's the what's the name for this shape? It's kind of like the rose window, you know, kind of Spanish style. Uh, but that's magnetic, so that would probably just end up in a lot anyway. Let's see what else we can pull through here and see what we can find. Is that an earring back? That looks nice. What is it? Come on. Reveal yourself. Please be something good and not me wasting my time for nothing. 
guess what? But this chain right here, that looks like gold. This is another perk for um, when you've got tangles, because sometimes people don't want to deal with tangles. But just looking at that chain, I would put money down that it's gold. I mean, just from the quality and the weight and the, the color. Let's see. Look, not magnetic. All right. Looks like you're in for a, a detangling, peeps. We're going in. We're making it happen. Quadrifoil. Thank you. I'm saying your name wrong. Cindy. Uh, quadrifoil. Yes, exactly. Look at, look at, and even the clasp. So I got to the clasp. That clasp definitely looks like, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, oh, I don't need to unhook it. Oh, come on. Come to mama. <laughs> I'm going to have to unhook the chain maybe because it's really twisted up. Oh, look, it won't matter if I, Oh, hang on. See, this is why I like to like fast forward it because I feel like I'm just like wasting your time. Let's talk amongst ourselves. What what topic shall we discuss so that we don't go crazy? How have your sales been? How about that? Talk, talk to me about your fourth quarter sales. What, what's been selling? How's it been going? I'm trying to find this other chain so I can unhook the clasp and pull it through but it doesn't appear to have an end. Oh gosh. You're coming out today, gold chain. <clears throat> oh, thanks Robin. Yeah, it's, um, I've been doing martial arts. We started martial arts back in June. I am gonna um, open this up and see if I can pull this out. Cause I wanna see what, I mean, I know I could look at the class and figure it out, but it's gonna be so much more so much more exciting to have it separated out. Oh gosh, look at this. What am I gonna do y'all? If I can't get this out in just one second, I'm gonna move on. But I really, 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 really wanna get it out. Um, sales are picking up, good, good. Yeah, my, I mean, my sales are slow, but it's my own fault because I haven't been listing as much, again, because I've been just, there's only so much one person can focus on, right? There's only so many hours in the day which is unfortunate, maybe. Yay, we did it. Oh my gosh, go us. All right, let's find out. Let's see if I can zoom it in anymore. I don't have the other camera. You know how I usually have the treasure cam set up, but I don't have the treasure cam set up today. So we're gonna zoom it in, and then I'm gonna try to focus it, see if we can get this thing focused on there. Nope, one more try. Maybe, it just might be too close. All right, I'm gonna get the loop, how about that? Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you. All right, let's get the loop out and see what we've got here. Which would be like silver, gold over silver, which is still nice. It's a nice chain. 585. So 585 is 14K, correct? Oh, y'all. We need like a gold dance. We got gold. We got gold. I, I need a better song. <laughs> I've lost practice. Um, Etsy's selling better for you than eBay. Usually in fourth quarter, that does so for me. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You're telling your friends to beat the supply chain problems. Oh yes. Yeah, shop small. And somebody else was posting something about that. Yay. Gold. Yay. Thank you. Um, yeah. So this is nice. So probably I'll have to um, weigh it. So what I do, like I, I get this question a lot about precious metals. And that's a nice chain too. Maybe I'll put it on. It matches my star earrings. Let's do it. Let's put it on see how long it is. Um, so I'll weigh it and then I'll go to the gold scrap calculator. Not that I would scrap it, but it's a jumping off point for where to sell. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Um, I have trouble like clasping my own bracelets and stuff like that. I think it's the nails. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'll go to the gold scrap calculator after I've weighed it. And that just gives me like the bottom, like definitely don't take anything less than that. But from there, once you look at maker quality, I don't know if I can do this. I really want to, but I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to waste any more time. Um, yeah. And so then you can start moving up from there and then seeing like what's similar out there that's selling, uh, in that. I'm so excited. That's pretty early up in the box. Usually it's like you wait for like the bottom of the box 
to find really good stuff or like tangles, you know, that's why I'm like, okay, tangles are worth it. They're, I, I'm not, some people love, I can't see this. Hang on. Let me zoom it back out. Um, some people love going through the tangles. Do y'all, I mean, let me know in the chat or if you're watching later, leave me a comment. Do you enjoy going through the tangles? Um, cause I don't generally, I mean, I do when I find good stuff like that, but overall it's not my favorite thing to do. So, all right. So let's keep going and poking through this mess. So this necklace that says Chico's on it, which is, it might be worth me pulling through. Oh, I see. It looks like there was something there, but maybe it broke off. So now it's just a chain. But some people really like um, Chico's jewelry. It looks like pretty much everything else in there. I'll, I'll detangle it more later. What does this one say? White House Black Market. That's another one that people like. So it might be worth me pulling it out. As long as it's in good condition, which it appears to be. Eh, I don't know about that, though. It really... You see the green on it? Eh, maybe not. Okay, so this stuff will get dealt with later. We've got some bangles. Are we ready for the bangle song? Do you remember it? Do I remember it? <clears throat> Clear my throat. La la la. Ready, set. Little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles made of ticky tacky. I shouldn't sing with this voice. This is bad. Little bangles on the hillside, and they all look just the same. There's a black and white one. <clears throat> And a rose gold and some goldy gold. La -da, la -da. This is bad. This is so bad. I'm going to apologize to you because my voice sounds horrendous. All right. So those bangles, whoops, those are going into a lot. This one also going into a lot. This one I, I really like. It's got these little rhinestones. Um, and then it's this rose gold. The finish is, it could be better. I don't know. I'm going to look at it a little closer and see if like, if that's the finish rubbed off on the edges there or, or if it just needs to be cleaned up. Cause that's something that's kind of nice. It doesn't appear to be missing any stones. So that's something that could sell. And it's got a nice weight to it. Nice weight. Let's see. Yay gold. Um, yeah, it is a new tattoo. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So, it's not done. I go, I finna get it finished this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so my sister and I are getting matching tattoos and we had an artist uh, design it out for us. And so it's a chrysanthemum. We want a Japanese style because my sister is quarter Japanese. And so we wanted the Japanese style and we got the bee because you know, she's, that's for her. She's the, the bee lady and it's a native Texas bee. We, we had to make sure it was one that was like a native Texas bee. And then mine is the mantis right here because I'm doing seven star praying mantis <clears throat> kung fu and so yeah and so it just symbolizes like bravery and hope and like pushing forward and courage and like she and I have like been through so much and like brought ourselves up you know like a phoenix rising from the flames um you know we, we've we've come through a lot and we've come through a lot together sisters and we're just like okay we're gonna do this so I go this week I've had two sessions. I did the out, he did the outline in the first session, this much color. And so this week I get the finishing color on it. The the rest of the chrysanthemum is gonna have this like corally peachy color. And then the mantis is gonna be like a different, like more like a chartreuse green. So it'll pop. I'm pretty excited. The guy that's doing my tattoo, um, if you're ever in the Austin area, he's in, actually in Jonestown, which is really, it's beautiful. I mean, you think tattoo parlor and you're like, is it this like grungy hole in the wall? No, it's like this beautiful tattoo parlor, the big windows looking out over the hill country. And it just like, it almost feels like you're in an art studio more than anything. And like really nice music playing and just great conversation. And um, so the tattoo place is called Peacemaker Tattoos. And Aaron is the artist that drew it out for us and who's working, doing our work for us. So, yeah, I know we're, I love the labyrinth video. I'm trying to think of what it, I'm trying to think of what it was. <laughs> um, yeah, oh yeah, it's, thank you very much. Yeah, it's not my first tattoo, actually. It's my sixth tattoo, and it's actually covering, I don't know if you can see, if you remember, like I had the infinity sign, you can kind of see the outline of the infinity sign that I had up there. Um, we just kind of got off on a tangent on my tattoo. Um, 
but the infinity sign I, I got for my first marriage. And I was like, yeah, let's just cover that up. And it's another one of those things that we're just moving on from. Um, and it's definitely not going to be my last because I've already talked to Aaron about like, I'm going to, I'm going to probably get a, another one coming down my arm, another big piece later. Um, and my, my kids are like, why did you, my parents too are like, why did you wait? You know, or why now, you know, cause I'm much older, but I'm, I don't know. I'm like, it feels right. It's like the time is right. And I'm excited about it. And I'm like, anyway, I'm so excited about it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm going to get like sticking with a kind of Japanese style, getting um, a tiger down my arm um, because it's awesome. And I'm, I'm year of the tiger too, as far as my Zodiac. Anyway. Okay. We'll move on. I'm excited about that though. You know? Okay. So here we go. Um, next up, we've got these two, it looks like little boys and it's on this kind of rubbery plastic cord. It, it's the brand best, I believe. I think that's what that says down there. Best. Um, and they seem to be an okay shape, maybe a little bit of wear on them. But this is something I could probably sell. It's like two little boys or maybe twin boys. Some mom might like that. Yeah, it's an okay shape. I'm going to look at it once I clean it up a little bit more because it looks like the, it's either needs to be cleaned or the finish might be worn off a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. <coughs> Pardon me. And then we've got these earrings. These will just go to a lot. Um, the finish is a little rough on that one. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping the mate for this is in there because look how pretty that is with those that I think it's just plastic, but they look like red coral. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping the mate's in there for that, but I'm going to put it to the side. Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah. Y'all make sure you go hit that thumbs up button. Okay. Next let's pull out. Some stuff. I'm so excited. We found gold so early on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to separate some things out. Holler at me. If you see anything, I feel like I asked a question in the chat and then I didn't come back to it. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, you found gold and sterling. Yeah, you're a no on the tangles. Um, yeah, you like it because you always find the gold. Usually, yeah. Mm, is it smaller class for older fingers? You have the same issue. Uh, it could be both. It could be both. I'm trying to think which labyrinth video <laughs> you're talking about. Because um, my my uh, son was Ziggy Stardust and is in a big David Bowie phase right now. Loving David Bowie, which I am on board with. Um, yeah, my youngest gets really, <clears throat> I don't say fixated, but goes through artists, you know, musicians, and then just devours all of it. So for a while there, um, it was all like Queen. So it was just nonstop Queen. And then for a while there, it was like nonstop Weird Al. And then it was the Beatles. And then, and right now it's David Bowie. So I, I'm on board with that um, because he, he just seems to like go through it and just want to devour all that music. And this is really pretty. Okay. Uh, this is like crazy tangles, crazy, crazy tangles. Okay. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions while, I, while I'm detangling, pop them up there. Do you sell your gold to gold buyers or resell on your pages? Um, kind of both. It depends. I've sold to gold buyers. Usually if it's like damaged, I did have a pair of cufflinks. I took to a gold buyer, um, that I ended up getting like over $400 for. Uh, but I don't think he was going to scrap them. He was going to probably sell them on his own, but I was like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And I didn't want to wait, you know, and so I could have sold them for way more. Right. Oh, I don't know about this tangle. Hang on. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to look at it good and hard and decide if I really want to go there or not. Oh, this is nuts. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, but I have sold to, I've sold online and I've sold like in my jewelry auctions online too. So this necklace, I really like, cause it's kind of like, not Victorian, but almost like uh, Henry VIII sort of Tudor style. I'm sure there's another, and it's got all of this. I think that's something else. 
Um, so I'm definitely going to pull this piece out. It's, it's two separate pieces, actually. So this is one. And then this one is on this heavier chain. Golly, look at this tangle. This is crazy. Um, and then this one looks like, you know, the gold by the foot kind of deal. Let's get the magnet on that um, real fast. It's super duper tangled up too. But this one looks like it could be kind of like gold over silver, maybe. Maybe. Let me see if I can find the chain for that one. Oh, no, it's not. This one, just from the tag, I can see. Okay, that's a Banana Republic one. But some people like Banana Republic jewelry. And look at the snake. Snake. So that's a fun one. Oh, it's an earring. Yay. Even better. So this is an earring that uh, could sell as a solo. Somebody might want just like a solo snake. But I'll see if the mate's there too. And then, oh, look, it might be just getting ready to come apart for me. Awesome. You know, this this one that's got all these dangly things on it um, might be a nice one. Gosh, this is just full of stuff. There's that in there. Hang on, let me get the magnet on that too. These are some nice earrings if I ever get them detangled. I hope you're okay with me just kind of piecemealing it because it's going to take me forever. Let's take a look at that one. I It's, yeah. It's not going to be gold or silver, I don't think, but yeah, see magnetic, um, just from the look of it. But that earring, if I find the mate for it, that'll be nice. Okay, let's see if we see anything else in here we want to pull out and look at. Holler out at me if you see anything. Snakes sell well for you. Sweet. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Um. Oh, I see, I see. You saw, okay. I missed it. I missed it. Um. First, I do all the class. Yes, good advice. That's good sound advice, 100%. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside because it looks like there's nothing else there that I'm going to try to pull out at the moment. Um, this necklace, I hate the wires because they are from the devil, and they tangle up with everything, and then they get all weird and kinky and not in a fun way, and they just make your life miserable. So why do people still make jewelry with this? I don't know. And then that will go to a lot as well. Oh, nice. You like rub the, the chain with your fingers, definitely. Alex Blue. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So here's a nice little bracelet. So it's a stretch bracelet. It's got these panels. And, but the panels are made to look like they're chain. And they're silver tone and gold tone. I like the... The color on that gold, like it's not a, it's more kind of, would you call it brassy gold? I don't know. It's, I'm sure there's a word for that. It's richer, like a deeper gold, right? Um, the stretch on this is okay. This is one I might sell, actually. I kind of like it. I like it, but I, I don't think I'd wear it personally, but I like it. Um, and that's an earring I'll set aside. That's another little earring that's got a glass little flower in there. And yeah, the rest of these, this one is that same, stop, stop, stop. It's the same style as this. They could be stacking. We'll see if there's more in there because then those could go together as a stacking um, set. What do you think? What do you call that again? It's kind of like the glitter <laughs> sandpaper. <laughs> Glittery sandpaper. There we go. I mean, that's a keyword for you, right? <laughs> Let's see. Antique gold. There we go. Okay, yeah. I was like, I know there's a name for that. All right, here we go. Pull out some more. <coughs> I think I pulled out too much. You got to know when to stop, Margaret. You got to know when to stop. Okay, let's move that to the side. So, I see a piece. Oh, gosh. Strings. Strings, why? This is another one. These random strings that tangle up. Now that's going to probably sell right here. Look at these strings. They're here to taunt and disturb you. Me. Okay, I'm unhooking it. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. Oh. 
Very frustrating. Very frustrating. That's okay, because this is what I want. I don't even want these. That's fine. Okay. Diamond dust, I call it. Nice. Okay. All right. So here we go. Look at this piece. Everybody else, step aside. Step aside. So here we've got this kind of like emblem or seal with the star. We could call it the Lone Star, if you will, since we are in Texas. And then these pieces of dyed halite. They're definitely not turquoise. Um, I'm trying to see if I can show you in the hole. You got to look in the hole, man. But you can kind of see, you know, where it's white in there because halite's like a white and then they dye it. I don't know. It's a nice piece that. Um, and then I need to look up this brand because this is a brand. Anybody know it in the chat? There's an X there. It looks kind of like a, a wonky cross. And then on the back, we've got the, the hook and eye and then a nice little charm that would hang down the back. But this is a nice piece. That one um, will definitely be one that'll be a nice seller. So thanks so much. Yeah, I, I like the new ink. I'm enjoying it. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, definitely going to, let me hold it up so y'all can see it up high to you. There we go. Like so. Yeah, and if you know, I mean, you can see, it's just really nicely made. I don't, I feel like I've seen this brand before, but I can't think of what it is. But yeah, and again, not my style, but definitely, definitely something someone would like. Right, it kind of looks like a sand dollar. Starfish, sand dollar starfish? Yeah. Very cool though, because some people like that, you know, Western wear, Southwest style type jewelry, right? <clears throat> okay, oops, I forgot it on the camera. Gotta get my camera. All right, so over here we're looking at, I don't know what that's from, but this is all just kind of like these rings and I don't know about that chain. Eh, okay, so that's gonna go to a lot. I don't think this is sterling. Good question. Um, I do not think so. Yeah, see, it's magnetic. And I know there can be magnetic sterling, but no. It just seems like a really nice costume jewelry piece. I'm gonna have to look up the um, that maker because I know, I know, I know I've seen it before. I wish I could remember everything, but I can't. And I'm just gonna have to get over it. All right, so here we've got this memory wire bracelet with these turquoisey colored beads. They are stone or ceramic, one or the other. Who can tell? Listen to that. What do you think? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I actually might sell this because some people, you know, they really like this memory wire. Let me pop myself up bigger. You know, they like that memory wire because it can, you know, adjust to fit whoever. And then, um, yeah, and it's a nice color, kind of like a matte turquoise. I feel like they're ceramic. I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, I'll sell that. Uh, then these like plasticky beads like this, those will go to a lot. These ones, these ones, I know that drives people crazy. These ones right here. Sometimes the grammar police come out to get me. I'm pretty good though. Come on now. Got to give a girl a break. Nobody is perfect. And if you're over here correcting somebody's grammar or whatever, you better have your stuff in order, right? Even still, don't do that. Ah, again, with the tangles. All right, so this was another one of these to drive us all crazy. Or is it the same one? It might be the same one. But that's going... Hang on. I got another necklace here. This one might be silver. There we go. Okay, these get to move out of the way. This gets to move out of the way. You have to wait because I'm going to look at you in just a second. I don't think it's silver now that I'm looking at it closer. But look at this pearly necklace. This is awesome. It's like a big bunch of pearly awesomeness. Who did I see wearing a pearl necklace the other day? Paul Cantu. Do y'all know who Paul Cantu is? Do y'all follow him? He, 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 uh, 
is the self ascribed, self ascribed, self described thrift god. He's so funny though. Oh my gosh. He's from Houston. I never actually ran into him while I was there, but he's hilarious. And he's on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I noticed that the other day on one of his Instagram pictures that he was wearing like a pearl necklace. I don't know if it was because of the shirt he was wearing because he just jokes. I mean, look at this though. Ooh. Um, This is a nice one with all these different size pearl. Um, Ooh, it's like a choker too. Let's see if I can do this. I'll have to pull my hair through. And it's got like a nice big hook for a lady like me. If I can turn it around now. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Remember when we did the thing where we like measured our necks? <laughs> that was a bad idea. Oh well. Um, it's going to choke me out. There. One, two, three. We did it. Oh, look at that. A fancy. A so fancy. Anyway, so fancy. He's a Braves fan. We were all wearing pearl necklaces during the series. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So it was a thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, nice. Yeah. He's so funny. Um, and I, I I don't know. It sounds it sounds not to be trite, but like I'm so proud of him. He works, he works hard and he's built up a lot for himself. So that's that's really awesome. Okay. So that's cool. I will definitely sell that. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, cool. I don't know where the box came from because usually when I order, I order multiple and then they come in a big box that would probably say where they came from. But then I take them out of that and put them, um, put them up on the shelf. Okay. The baseball players are wearing pearls. Okay. I didn't know that's what that was about, but I'm glad to know now. I was like, that's an interesting style choice. But I mean, with him, like he does, he, he makes interesting style choices. So, okay. So next up, we've got more little bangles, which I'm not going to sing because I put you through that just a minute ago. And we learned very quickly, this voice was not made for singing. Um, we'll wait till my voice comes back. All right. Then we've got another long, super long pearly necklace. So it's actually really nice. Like it's got a nice feel to it, nice weight to it. So I might, it doesn't feel like the cheapy plasticky ones, even though I know it is, but. I might actually try to sell that one. That's pretty nice. Um, okay. I'm so glad to have that that answer about the pearls. I was like, interesting. Interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, so here's this necklace. That, oh, let me make this bigger for you. Um, that I was looking at because I liked the little... What, do you, what would you call these? Little... Uh, they look like, you know, you're doing your fractions at school and your teacher's got all the little pieces of fractions for you and you decide, you know what, I'm going to take some of these and make a necklace. That's one fourth and that's two fourths. No. Um, this is magnetic, but it's kind of a cool necklace. I might, I might actually try to sell it because it's that, you know, some people like kind of a simple, but also modern look, right? So there. Oh, thanks, Selma. Thanks for showing up. Or um, that sounded wrong. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in a long time. Um, yeah, so that's cool. That's a cool little piece. Um, okay. <coughs> yeah, that came out wrong. Now, is it just you or, or is it just me? <laughs> is it just you or do you put your foot in your mouth a lot? I meant that to say that about myself. <laughs> is it just me? I didn't put my foot in my mouth a lot. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Just keep digging, Margaret. Just keep digging. <laughs> All right. So next up, we've got this kind of Pandora style uh, bracelet that's got some nice little charms on it. I did a video a while back about Pandora, you know, trying to learn like how to tell the difference between Pandora charms. And it's always worth double checking because some people might throw a Pandora charm on something that's not Pandora. I don't think this one is. But anyway, it's fun. <laughs> thank you thank you for being gracious about my foot in my mouth <laughs> um oh is that there was a time when pearls were only worn by, by men only oh cool that would be an interesting thing to um to learn more about i think personally because I, I don't know part of the reselling you know part of reselling i love is the the learning right the history that you you get to learn so much 
Okay, it looks like the rest of this stuff, I'm just gonna probably go into a lot, just kind of like random. That one's missing some stones. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we've got this bracelet. It is stamped Hope. The finish appears to be pretty good on it. Um, so I might try to sell it. I don't think it'll sell for a ton, but I think it could definitely sell. Okay. <clears throat> We've got a giant. Mm, what's the what color blue would you call this? Teal? Would this be a teal? It's not quite turquoise. It's too dark for that. Like a tealy blue. That's pretty cool. I like the this wide, wide bangle, but it does have a little bit of like scuffing, so I definitely won't sell it. Alright, I'm gonna dump the rest out. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I, <clears throat> I'm going to look up the stuff about the pearls because that's interesting to me. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Oh, this is a fun one. Yeah, this is one I'll probably sell. I could see someone liking this bangle. So it's got this kind of like shrimp style, you know, segmented. I don't know if I would call it shrimp style, but you know what I mean? Um, Like when you, there's gold earrings that, that are called shrimp style. It's called shrimp style, but they've got this, uh, oh, I'll have to show you a picture. Anyway, but yeah, these segmented pieces, some are concave, some are convex, very cool, with the kind of teal and gold tone. That's a nice, I mean, I, I wouldn't wear it personally, but I think somebody would like that. Uh, what else have we got in here? That one, would you sell this? I mean, this is one of those things, again, I'm like, I wouldn't wear it. But somebody might be looking for like a grayish silver clustered <laughs> clustered necklace. You know what we haven't done today is put something on my head. So maybe we should try. Oh no. This is not this is not conducive to the head. But I I don't know. Let me try to sell this one. It's different, right? It's really heavy. It feels like it could be like whoopsh, um, you know, force to be reckoned with there on that one. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, oh, you can't see. Hang on. Geometric shapes on jewelry are popular. They, oh, yeah. Popular in the 80s. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I forgot to mute. Sorry. When I'm coughing. Okay. This is a cool one. It's like these black beads. I feel like this is, oh, this is what it was. Look, now that we're almost at the end, I was like, I know I can make it brighter. Oh, well. Figured it out in the end. So it's on one of these expansion bracelets. Oh, it's already pinching my fingers. No wonder you're in the box. So yeah, I mean, it's cool that it's on one of these expansion. I don't know, I might try to sell this. I know some people really prefer, like they like that expansion style um, stretch bracelet. Yeah, I might just actually try to see if I can sell that. Is that a maker's mark in there? There's something written. Let me see, let me grab my loop so I can see what that says. Not to just be a scratch. <laughs> it's happened before. Made in Japan, it says. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I actually might try to sell that. Then there's this piece of copper. What do you think? I might put it in a lot. Like if I do like a mixed metal lot or something like that, that might go in there. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, you're detangling a good bowl right now. Oh, yay. Uh, that's what, yeah, that's the beauty. We don't like, yeah, somebody else might love it, right? It, it's nice, right, Thelma? Did, I, did you, were you here? I, I got a gold necklace, like straight out almost. It was tangled up, but we had it. All right, let me zoom. Um, that necklace, actually, somebody might like this one. It's, um, I mean, this is plastic, but it's in really good shape and it looks, I don't know, pretty cool. It almost looks like rutilated quartz, right? Um, and then it's got these little like turquoisey beads there. And then it's on this kind of brown leathery strap. So this is one I'll probably sell there. And then there's the mate to that earring. Yay. Found that. Uh, that one will go to a lot. The shell, the happy holiday earrings. What do you think? Buck seventy four. Would you sell these? I might. The holidays are coming. Somebody might want some. I mean, 
this is one I would definitely take off the card and then probably put them up for like 15 bucks or so. Cause yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't matter, you know, or cut the card. Another thing to do, like you could peel the sticker off and then cut like the price part off. If you wanted to keep it on the like shiny card, that'd be cool. Uh, oh, that would have been a nice earring to find the mate for that pebbled look. That's cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest of it's just kind of like, nah, okay, cool. Now, do we try to make a thumbnail? Remember I, used, I do that in the, my camera down videos, but I don't know if I can uh, swing it in this one. I don't know. Yeah, probably not. We'll just hang out. We'll just call it. <clears throat> anyway, I'm really glad you guys came to hang out with me for this uh, video. Again, we did find some gold. I'm so excited about that. Nice little gold necklace. I'm going to go see if I can try it on. Um, and then I just have a little spot that I keep all my all my gold and silver that I need to go through to sell and price out and stuff like that. So, yay. All right. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a really great weekend and that you've got some fun things planned. And I will talk to you on the next one. Again, thanks so much for coming to hang out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.